Welcome to Gold Rush, local family history. When you live in towns that came about due to the Gold Rush of 1849, we are reminded every day of the history that surrounds us. But we are even more proud of our family ties to the Gold Rush and the early miners. The Ratkovich family has been a part of Angels Camp, California for over a hundred years, and it all began when Nikola Ratkovich came from Yugoslavia when he was 16 and started working in the Utica mine. He's pictured here with his crew, and this photo hangs in various establishments around the county and also in the Angels Camp Museum. Local families are very proud of their mining history. The Utica Mine was once part of downtown Angels Camp. The Utica Mine Tailing Wheel resides in a museum in Angels Camp. Pictured is Vernon Ratkovich, son of Nikola Ratkovich, and Vernon also stayed and made his home in Angels Camp. With him is Vernon's grandson, Nick, named after his great-grandfather, the miner who came from Yugoslavia at age 16. Peter Vasilovich was Vernon Ratkovich's maternal grandfather and he worked in both the Kennedy and Argonaut Mines in Jackson, California. He was the last employee of the Kennedy Mine. When the mine shut down during World War II, there were hopes the mine would someday reopen when the war was over. His job was to run the pumps every day to keep the water out of the shafts in case it did reopen. The Argonaut Mine in Jackson, California is one of the deepest gold mines at 6,142 feet deep. It was also the site of a major disaster in 1922 when miners were trapped. Peter Vasilovich was working at the Kennedy Mine at the time and was part of the rescue team. It is an interesting story and worth investigating to hear how they tried that famous rescue. Buildings are all that remain of the Kennedy Mine. Peter Vasilovich is in the second row, fourth from the right. He was a very tall man and once saved a man's life. An inspector was at the top of the mine shaft elevator and slipped and fell. He was screaming as he was falling down the deep mine shaft. Peter heard the screams, reached both his arms out over the open hole and caught the man in both of his arms. He became a local hero. The Ratkovich and Vasilovich families continue to live in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas. Here around their homes, you can see typical creeks where miners of the past would sit and search for gold. Gold fever continues with the Ratkovich family with our own version of a long tom attached to a sluice box. The kids will often grab buckets of dirt from the creek behind us and run it through to see if they can find anything that the miners didn't grab the first time around. Hi, with me is our oldest son, Nick, and he is holding one of our family's most treasured heirlooms. Nick, what do you have here? So I have great grandpa Nick's mining helmets and it's over a hundred years old. The small rural town feel and beauty of the foothills of the Sierra Nevada mountain range is what has kept us here for generations. We are very proud of our family history and our connection to the gold rush and the mining that started so many of these small towns.